I personally find golf just a little bit boring, but luckily video game developers learn to spice things up a bit. I am the Game Collector and this is Second Opinion Games, and today I look at some extreme golf games. Second Opinion Games. The first game I want to talk about here is Neo Turf Masters for the Neo Geo. If you don't happen to have that system, you could pick it up on tons of the different collection discs that are out there. Most commonly, you could probably find one for the PlayStation 2. Really cheap. Now, because it's a Neo Geo game, it was meant for the arcades. And normally, these arcade-style games try to push you through the game as fast as possible so they could eat up quarters left and right. This doesn't seem to do that that much, so it really wants you to take your time. There are six different playable characters here, so you can choose the ones that you are best at. The guy from the United States is the most average and well-rounded, and the guy from Japan can putt by far the best. So drive for show, putt for dough. If you want to go for the big money, go with the guy from Japan. Also, there are four different courses to choose from, each with 18 holes. So there is lots of bang for your buck here, and because of the tight controls, it'll have you playing for quite some time. The graphics also look beautiful. Your character models are almost full realistic and there's even different parallax scrolling that you could usually only see when you rotate back and forth just a little tiny bit be careful of the water hazards and it might be really hard to even hit par in this game but eventually you will get the hang of it it's one of those two button press type of games one button is for the power and the next one is depending on whether you hook it or slice it in one direction or the other when it comes to putting well, it's as simple as just timing your button press. It tells you exactly where to hit it, so you have no excuses other than the fact that if you suck or not. And this is where the different characters really come into play, because the guy from Japan, it moves a little bit slower back and forth, and from some of the other characters will move quite a bit faster. So this is definitely one of the most perfect golfing packages you could ever play. Let's take a look at that Outlaw series. Usually you could find a bunch of crazy characters playing volleyball, but this is Outlaw Golf for the GameCube. It could also be found on the original Xbox and the PlayStation 2. Now normally I try to pick the sluttiest character possible, and there are plenty of those, as well as ones that look just a little too much like me. I really like playing with Summer, as she seems to be a very limber stripper-like character, and she can really drive that ball hard if you know what I mean. And just putting itself is nearly freaking impossible. Yeah, the controls here, instead of the well placed button timing it uses the analog sticks to slice and hook away and i find this unbelievably frustrating i really would rather be playing those button timing games a lot more than waggling the analog stick up and down the graphics here are about as good as they can trying to go with realistic character models the gamecube era really wasn't good at this at the time and it really shines through luckily the attitude of the game itself really pushes it forward. I really like the announcers, and one of them really even sounds like that guy from The Office. You know the one I'm talking about. Also, the crowd seems to be really into it. They're cheering you on every step of the way. The ambient noises are pretty good, too, with uh, the bunch of different golf clapping and the birds chirping. The music, however, is just awful. It sounds like it's ripped straight from an adult film, which is kind of fitting for my character being a stripper. But overall, the sense of humor here is a little hit or miss. Everything's a little bit crude and lowbrow. When I want to play golf, I probably won't reach for this one too often. Instead, I want something a little more out of this world. Wow, that was definitely worth nothing. Oh. Oh. Right dead center. Wasn't aiming for that a bit. 
And that brings us to Ribbit King. You play as a sheep looking character who's trying to save his world by collecting some super Ribbit Knight. And the only way to do so is by playing the game of Froth. That's Frog Golf for those of you that are paying attention out there. So the long running tradition of beating frogs to death continues on. And there are plenty of different characters that you could go up against that also love beating frogs. Now because this isn't golf in traditional sense, it's not about just getting the ball, which is the frog, to the hole, the watering hole, in the fewest amount of strokes. It's also about getting the most points along the way. Also, water hazards here actually seem to be a good thing because frogs can swim in water. There are also different flies that can be about, but if you end up in the rough, there could be enemies that could kill you, or sometimes they could even help you out. There are also tons of different power-ups that you collect and you can use as you go through. After all, beating your frog up could leave it badly bruised, so you might have to heal them halfway through the match. Now you can play it sort of like your traditional golf game, but that will only get you so far. After all, it's all about the points here, and the whoever has the most points at the end of the game is the winner. So luckily, this is a pretty easy game. As long as you try to play to the best of your ability, you'll win most of the time. The computer doesn't cheat too much, and the character voice acting will really have you pushing forward. And the dialogue is pretty hilarious as well. Sometimes I just found myself laughing my butt off at the kooky situations that I often find myself in. This is one of the most interesting games that are sort of like golf I think I ever played, but I think I want something just a little bit deeper with a lot more golf experience behind it. I don't really trust him. He's shady. Yoo-hoo! All aboard the FUV! Hurry up! Let's go! Should we go? Forget it! Come on! He's a weirdo! At least I'm not a picnic basket. Mario Golf Toadstool Tour for the GameCube might just be the best golf game of all times. It has all your fun and fancy Mario characters here, and each with their own abilities, as well as all the different Mario sound effects that you've grown to love over time. The graphics are bright and colorful. Each of the golf courses here range from just looking like regular golf courses to something from a Mario fanboy fantasy. And this is really deep as well. There are tons of different clubs to choose from. You can figure out ways to arc the putt and the greens just perfectly because look at the lines when you go on the greens themselves. You could use the C stick to kind of follow the trajectory of how the ball is going to go and that is completely beautiful for lining up your shots exactly the way you want. If you miss any shots in this game that is on you for not playing it properly. It's also all about the timing here, so you don't have to worry about the fancy analog sticks to swing your clubs to get in the way here. So that being said, it runs at a perfectly smooth frame rate, so the timing is just perfect. And oh my god, you could even play as freaking Donkey Kong here. Seeing a giant monkey on the golf course is something that is a work of art and beautiful. But what if I want my monkeys to be a bit smaller on the golf course? Well, what do I turn to then? How about Super Monkey Ball 2? Now the first game had a golf mini game, and both of them are pretty much exactly the same. The graphics here are bright and colorful, and rather than hitting the ball, you are the ball. So when you wind up and swing, you hit yourself. Now the back nine are really difficult, and the front line mostly seem like standard golfing courses. And when you play this game, you'll find yourself cruising through relatively easy. However, putting seems to be difficult. You never know exactly how hard you want to hit your freaking monkey in a ball. And I gotta say, as far as monkey balls go, this is really cute and fantastic. And it seems very arcadey style in its gameplay overall. But what if you want to play a game that's even less about golf and more about action-packed excitement? This 
is Ninja Golf for the Atari 7800. And this was a 7800 exclusive up until just the other day when they released it for some type of handheld that just came out with a multi-card thing. And you play as a ninja who's trying to do himself some great honor by completing one of the most difficult tasks a ninja can do, playing golf. Now the golfing aspect of here isn't very deep. You just walk up to a ball. You don't select any single type of driver whatsoever. You just hit the ball with a well-timed button press. And then you have to fight against other ninjas and many other creatures as you run to the ball again and hit it. Now it starts off really easy and you even can pick up some shurikens along the way as well as some health. If you pick up the shield icon, well then you're invincible until that runs out. And if you make it to the green, don't expect to be doing any putting here at all. Instead, you have to fight a dragon by throwing your ninja stars at the dragon's mouth. Well-timed placement will have you defeating that dragon in no time, and every single end boss is exactly the same as you play through the game. But that doesn't mean everything will be the same, because if you stay on the fairway, things will be much easier. If you end up in the rough, well then you'll have even harder characters to fight against. And if you are in the freaking water, well then even even sharks will freaking come after you, and this is where it gets really ridiculous. Luckily, the action-packed excitement here is pretty darn good. Now, I've heard a lot of people don't like the way that this game is played, but honestly, I find it terrific. It's a perfect combination of golf and kicking butt as a ninja, and it's one of my favorite games for the console. So, if you want to find a great game of ninja golf, you don't have to look any other place. Except for maybe this next game. Aqua Teen Hunger Force Zombie Ninja Pro-Am. If you're a fan of the Aqua Teen Hunger Force cartoon, well then you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. If you don't like that cartoon at all, then stay far away from this game, because it's really not about the golf here. Matter of fact, it's not really even that much about the action, even though there is quite a bit of it. You could switch between Master Shake and Frylock at will. Now, Frylock is this floating french fry character, who can shoot laser beams from his eyeballs and destroy everything. But Master Shake can freaking pull out a sword and maybe even a shotgun as he blows away people. The power-ups here are ridiculous. The health bar is just you degrading in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, and when you die, you just appear exactly where you are. It's not really even all about how many strokes it takes to get to the end of the level, because Frylock is just gonna cheat and give himself a double eagle whenever he gets a a chance. After all, that is his character's main sense of humor. And all the characters that you've ever ran into while watching the show, you're gonna run into in this game. To better or worse, sometimes it's just freaking hilarious. The cybernetic space ghost is one of the announcers here, and he says just some of the craziest crap that you would never expect to hear. Some of the freaking sense of humor that goes on in this game is just unacceptable by today's standards, and that's one of the things I like about it the most, how crude and interesting it is. Now, the frame rate drops at the most unexpected times, like when you're trying to swing your golf club. That's not when you want the frame rate to either speed up or slow down suddenly when you have to have precision button presses, but luckily it's more about the cartoons than it is about the game of golf. And that's why it is one of my favorite over-the-top extreme golf games for any console ever, even if it happens to be a bad golf game. But that's just my opinion. Thanks for watching. Looks like Afghanistan down there. Tar pits and more ill-tempered trees. On my planet, golf is for gay people. And I love golf. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Not, not in my lap, guy. Come on. But we're a team. Off my lap. 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I had a great time making it. And there was one more golf game I really wanted to talk about. But the game was so unusual, I just had to save that for its very own video. So what golf games out there really piqued your interest? Do you really like Neo Turf Masters? And have you ever heard of Aqua Teen Hunger Force Zombie Ninja Pro-Am before? And if you happen to play Atari 7800, hopefully you played a couple rounds of Ninja Golf, as that is one heck of an exclusive that we never got on the Nintendo or anything else for that matter. So if you happen to really like these style games let me know if it's not your thing hey let me know that too and let me know what games you want me to cover in the future because this is all about the fans so make sure you leave me a comment and make sure you talk to the other people in the comment boxes down below because i'm trying to build a community here so until later i will see you again guys